Hey guys, uh, you know, it's your boy Polycap, um, back at you with another video. So, um, in this video, we're going to talk about a recap of 2017, uh, you know, what I worked on, um, all the projects that I was kind of working on in a brief uh, manner, and then uh, we'll probably move to the beginning of 2018 and uh, all the projects that I worked, you know, I've started, um, kind of what we'll be working on towards the um towards the rest of 2018 and then i'll also kind of tell you about some things that uh have happened in the past two weeks of uh 2018 starting um so without any further ado uh, let's get into it so So, um, in 2017, um, it was kind of the conclusion of a project that I had been working on for like a bunch of years. Uh, it was called Aggregate, and uh, it sent farmers in the developing countries text messages about prices, about weather patterns and weather information so that it would help them become better farmers. Uh, this would help, you know, our, our aim with Aggregate was to increase their yield, increase their income, and help them, you know, gain more profits so that they can not only reinvest it back into their kids, but they can also, you know, turn a profit, become better you know and and so and so that was the aim of aggregate but uh due to unforeseen reasons um i wasn't able to continue uh with aggregate and so um there, there was a few months there where i was kind of in limbo and i really didn't know what i was working on uh since aggregate was my baby uh my identity was also tied to it so those those are there's actually some time there where i didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, some of the questions I was asking myself is, what am I here to do? Uh, what's my purpose? And, and you know, I kind of hit a point where I was depressed a bit because I didn't know, you know, how to move forward. And, and, and that, you know, I, I think some of you also understand this feeling where you're like, you don't know your purpose. You feel like you're just kind of floating around in the world and, and it's okay. I think, uh, I think we all feel like that because, you know, it's a human trait. And so, um, and so I, I kind of, you know, after working out some things, uh, taking some time off to understanding who I am, reading some books, getting to know myself better, my strengths and weaknesses, I decided to jump back in and start a new project, right? And I did a lot of research, um, way too much. Like I used to go to work and I used to sit there and they used to write like these pages, right? Right? I used to just I you know I used um I used what's known as uh, first principle thinking uh, and the way I understand first principle thinking is that you start from the most basic elements of, of a certain subject and you work your way up to the most advanced levels of it right so I started the most basic levels of what I'm passionate about right so I'm passionate about physics government uh, psychology neurology computer science uh, I'm passionate about a lot of things and and um, as you can probably tell from all the like pictures that are that are floating on the screen right now um, I wrote a lot of notes I think I, I, I you know the this 70 like five pages of, of notes that I took every single day for so for 75 days I was I was writing you know things that I was passionate about, you know, things from how how molecules make me up and how these small tiny things turn into cells and how those cells work together towards making my tissues and organs and systems and how all those accumulate towards this body that I'm existing right now, the body that you sit inside of watching this video. So I thought it was really interesting. And so that kind of led me to like thinking about, okay, if, so if I'm, you know, and, and so that kind of led to the beginning of polyocracy, right? Because um, uh, it was also last year that uh, Trump got elected, right? And uh, I'm also Kenyan, so uh, shout out. Uh, but um, Kenya also had its election last year. And it was just one election, it was three elections. And it was because of corruption and a lot of different reasons why, you know, I, I came to the understanding that democracy isn't working really well. And, you know, this, this is hindsight bias because during the time, I didn't quite know what I was trying to build. I knew I was trying to build something that would help people collaborate. I knew that I wanted to build something that didn't have central government, centralized power, because with centralized power comes a lot of bureaucracy and then comes a lot of uh, points of failure, which you know we call as for corruption, right? So bringing it back to like an example of uh, Kenya and its three elections, 
those were due to corruption. Those were due to the inability of humans to like organize and, and decide on what kind of future they want to work together. Obviously, there's two stratospheres in society. There's the rich and there's the poor like me and you. <laughs> and, so, um, and, so, and so the rich want some things. I mean, imagine how Trump just uh, passed a tax which cuts taxes for the rich but increases it for the poor. Obviously, the current administrations all over the world, especially, don't really care about me and you. And so, you know, that, that's kind of a problem because uh, if you think about it, the 1% doesn't really do the hard work that we do. We build the roads, we build the hospitals, we build the schools. It is us, the 90%, who work together towards making the economy work. So it is kind of unfair that we create the value that they then hog and put in these mansions and put in these vaults that we can't access. But so that was kind of the that was kind of the beginning of polyocracy, right? So so that was uh that was the later part of uh 2017. I started doing research, you know, I started figuring out, you know, what I want to do. Even at the time I didn't know it was going to be called polyocracy. And so at the beginning of 2018, um I finished writing uh, my white paper, right? And so uh, the white paper kind of went through, um, you know, the basically what I just said, right? So society is uh, breaking down, social structures are breaking down, and also thinking of a new way to organize humanity. And, and I think it's about time that we do find a new way to organize humanity, given that democracy was, was started, or the idea of democracy was first, like, thought of five, 07 BC by an Athenian uh, leader. His name was like Celius the, I don't know. I'll put it up on the video and you guys will probably see it on the screen right now. Um, but yeah, so it started uh, about 2000 plus years ago, right? And so it's been around and uh, 2000 years later, what we have is in true democracy. Uh, at the time when he started it, 507 BC, uh, democracy was a rule by the people. And so, you know, that's the same concept uh, the American uh, forefathers had. It was ruled by the people but modern democracy deals with the representative system so you probably are aware of this we vote for politicians and these politicians go to capitol hill to basically represent us right so that's the modern democracy it's a representative system it's not true democracy right and so um and so these these politicians lobby for whichever power they feel their allegiance to right um if you if you think about it um like oil companies have a lot more power and a lot more money to buy these politicians that's why we haven't transitioned to electric vehicles given that electric vehicles and just more sustainable means are better for climate change they just reduce climate change and they help us not have to experience the adverse effects of climate change i mean just last year in 2017 Guys, we had real. two of the biggest um hurricanes america Straight has from a horror ever movie. experienced it is no i'm just saying it looks like one and it's moving so fast look it's the official hell which is heaven And, you know, as you can see from the videos right now, that there was a lot of destruction from those, you know, those those hurricanes. And it's interesting to think about it because it's also in 2017 that the Trump administration decided to get out of the Paris Accord agreement. Right. Ba basically, the Paris Accord means that um, countries around the world agreed that, hey, climate change is real. We should mitigate our CO2 emissions towards, you know, lessening the effects of climate change. Right. And so, you know, Trump comes into power and he's like, no, nah, you know, screw that. <laughs> it's not worth it. Right. And so and so all these examples are just supposed to show you that the current systems of government that we have aren't really working towards our favor. And so the, you know, the idea of polyocracy was born from us wanting or from me, you know, deciding that, hey, why don't we build something better? Right. And so and so, at the, you know, so I, I wrote this white paper. Right. And I was talking about how people would collaborate on how to solve these issues, how they wouldn't be a centralized like control. So if I was to die, for example, the polyocracy would live on through you guys. Right. So there would be no like president or no grand leader who controls everything. We would all self-organize. And it's also important for me to mention 
that polyocracy is based on how the human body works. So I used biomimicry and to, to design polyocracy. And so I started from the cells and I started thinking of humans as individual cells. And as you know, we have like trillions of cells in the human body. And these trillions of cells tie together into tissues and these tissues tie into organs and these organs tie into systems and then these systems tie into an organism. So uh, at, the, at the end of it, I was kind of like, okay, so how could we use that to our advantage? How could we build such an autonomy a system that has no central control because if you think about it the human body doesn't have a central point of control the brain doesn't control how the cells work right uh, the heart doesn't control all the cells the, you know it's a it's a decentralized system and there's something known as a anarchy right so so not anarchy in this in the way of chaos and how you might think of it you know the media has done a good job in painting anarchy as this chaotic kind of a uh, lawless you know theory of how things could be organized actually anarchy um anarchy means a highly organized society without any central power right so the body is is the body is designed through anarchy yeah, so, so long story short, um, polyocracy is built um, and it's actually designed through biomimicry of the human body. But, so so yeah, I released this white paper and uh, the, the, the link to the white paper will be in the description below. So you can read it. It's uh, definitely version one. I think uh, I'll definitely be writing more versions later and I'll also be improving upon this concept. As, as you'll see, polyocracy isn't at its complete stage. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a work in progress and and uh, you know and that that's the that's that's a point i'm trying to make completely it's that it's not complete yet and you'll be in the journey as i build this you know throughout right because if it's a system that's going to replace current governments it's going to take a lot of tweaks it's going to take a lot of time and and lucky for us uh you know you experience the journey you experience the ups and downs the high moments the depressed moments and everything that comes with creating something new and so um and so and so i had to pivot i create because uh this week i shared the white paper with uh my close friend Kevin, right? And so I shared it with Kevin and Ethan, and they brought up some really good points. Um, you know, they said it's a good idea, but um, they also said that there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, not only was the white paper not very technical, it, it was it had a lot of political themes to it, right? So, so I, I I don't I didn't want it to be very political. I wanted it to focus on the technical aspects of how uh, a biomimic system can can replicate itself across society, right? So, um, but Kevin, Kevin found this uh, this company called The Matrix, right? And uh, I'm gonna play their video uh, just to just to kind of give you an, uh, an idea of what they're working on. But literally, they are building what I was trying to build. It was, it was a collaboration system for for yeah. I'll just play their video, and uh, they they can explain it better than I can about the system that I was trying to build initially, right? Um, and so, and so yeah, here, here, here's the video. Technologies like the printing press, the postal service, the telephone, and the internet have enabled collaboration across borders, connecting people like never before. Unfortunately, current methods of collaboration and scientific research are centralized, where tremendous amounts of brain power, time, and money are wasted when siloed ivory towers attack the same problems at the same time, and hobbyists and non-accredited contributors cannot participate. And many of history's best engineers and scientists have been overshadowed by those who are most popular. We all know about Watson and Crick's discovery of DNA, but how many of us know about Rosalind Franklin's critical contribution? Now, thanks to VR and the blockchain, we can accelerate the rate of innovation with Matrix. Matrix is the newest evolution in collaboration. It's a library, a marketplace, and a bounty system for unique problems and for their creative solutions. On Matrix, anyone can solve the world's biggest and the world's smallest problems. The most challenging problems in math, science, engineering, cryptography, massive virtual worlds, and even art can all be tackled on a single platform, open to everyone. On the Matrix platform, Anyone who holds an MTX token can place a bounty on the problem that they want the community to collaborate on solving. Creators compete to solve these problems by creating, sharing, and collaborating with one another. Matrix tracks these remixes and collaborations on-chain, so when the problems are solved, 
all participants in the solution are fairly credited and rewarded, not just the final contributor. Whether you're a PhD or an amateur enthusiast, anyone can access and contribute to an ever-expanding collection of problems across all fields. The Matrix Marketplace also enables direct value exchange between users, allowing anyone to buy and sell digital assets for use in their designs, research, or even virtual worlds. The history of innovation points towards a clear future, a world in which science, research, and collaboration occur on the blockchain. Matrix is that future, and we invite you to be a part of it. Join us at matrix.ai to find out how you can participate in the future of innovation. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, that system is is was the idea that I started from, right? There's a lot of really similarities uh, between the the matrix system and polyocracy, right? And so and so, uh, I actually shared it with one of my friends, Michael, and he hit me back. He actually gave me a call. He's like, "Bro, they stole your idea," <laughs> and we kind of laughed about it for a bit. But it was kind of interesting because um, it's built by um, a, a team of uh, a team of, of people from the University of San Diego. So they they had everybody from mathematicians to designers to all types of people, right? And here I am, just one you know, just one black kid, and I I, I figured out a majority of the things that they were they are trying to work on, right? So so I guess I get a point for that. But they they not only wrote a white paper i'll also link the white paper to the to the comment description below it's a really good white paper and it goes through a lot of different uh different points and 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 it's a yeah it's well done so so i had a few i had a i had a few conflicts right so i had to i had to decide whether i wanted to go into the arena with the matrix or if i wanted to pivot my idea and focus focus it more right so so i, I was also faced with the same problem that i was faced with aggregate um you know and then the point is um the ideas i work on are their own right so there's a difference between polycathic person and polyocracy or aggregate right so i can't tie my identity to the ideas that i build right because if these ideas either get lost or they don't end up working out i don't want that to lead back to me as a person i don't want to feel like i lost a part of myself they're an expression of me and so that was a big thing that i had realized so that's why this channel is kind of broken into two it's broken into me the person and the ideas that i work on the ideas that i build the companies and the projects that i'm working on and so that is a big distinction right so so long story short um so i, I was like damn so, so I, I i talked to kevin i was like yo bro um you know so they they kind of do what I'm, I'm trying to do so like well, what's up so uh, during the conversation with kevin and i think i'll play it um and i think i'll play it if i, if I have the audio from it you're defining the problem the problem can't be global warming and then feeding people and overthrowing government you know what i'm saying yeah. like that's too many things that are totally different that can be all their own paper you know true so um yeah that's that's definitely important and i thought um i thought the ethereum paper was a pretty good example for how you can you know most of your thinking should go into how is the system supposed to work how is it you know supposed to reward credit like when i was reading your paper before i was before i got to like it was so funny i was just like reading your paper and uh reading the ethereum paper and i was like in vr and shit <laughs> i got when i finished both of your paper like i finished uh the i read the i read yours and then i read the ethereum paper and then i read yours again and then i did the two uh the, the anatomy mm -hmm. thing and um yeah after i finished that i was like oh, okay let me uh and you look at my, my my coins and shit. It's like, oh yeah, this is a coin I was gonna uh, review. This this one looks interesting. And then I checked it out, and it was like literally the same idea. <laughs> this is one of me versus like twenty twenty five of them, and so um, I definitely I definitely think I will pivot towards uh, government more. Um, leave this whole like collaborative part to them. I'll definitely take elements of it that really do work. Yeah, as you can tell, probably during the conversation with Kevin, I realized that 
I want to focus more on the government aspect, right? So if the matrix has figured out how to do collaboration between individuals, I should figure out how these individuals would collaborate towards building better communities, right? So so the first level of polyocracy was the cells, right? And how cells tie into tissues and how, you know, tissues are made up of the same cells. So those cells, like engineers, would work together towards solving an engineering problem. Um, developers would work together towards solving a development problem or near, you know. Um, but at any length, so poly I decided to pivot polyocracy, right? And and so I decided to pivot it towards more of replacing governments. I'm really passionate about that, as you can tell. But I don't think the current government systems are working out completely. And so and so you know to kind of finish off this video, uh, some of the things that um that that I'm going to be working on is is molding polyocracy into a system that is supposed to replace governments right so i'm going to go back to my white paper i'm going to cut out all the parts that had to deal with collaboration and basically you know basically basically use the matrix for those parts right why reinvent the wheel when the wheel has already been in invented right so i'd use i will use the matrix in polyocracy right i'll use the matrix i use some other company called open mind that does some really interesting stuff we'll talk about it later um so the next two videos that i'll probably do was um the first version of polyocracy right so i'll, I'll kind of make a video that explains that how you know how how initially i had this idea of how it's going to work uh how cells you know tie you know how what technologies are behind polyocracy and and that will be a separate video It'll probably be uploaded after this video and then the video after that it be the idea of you know polyocracy 2.0 or polyocracy you know version 1.2 right so so ver if version 1.1 was this uh collab collaborative effort plus government um you know how can we just you know version 1.2 will probably be about um will probably be about uh polyocracy only being a, a system or a platform that aims to replace governments Right, so it uses blockchains, it uses deep learning, and I'll get into deeper details about how the inner workings of polyocracy work. But this video um, is, is coming to a close now, um, and I don't wanna ramble on for too long. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you, you kind of got an idea of what I've, I've been working on, uh, the kind of journey that I've taken towards this point, and, and kind of the, an idea of where we'll be going forward, right? So the, the project that I'll probably be focusing a lot of the time on will be polyocracy and, and you, you'll get my perspective of how those things are going on, right? Um, and so, yeah, and so if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Uh, definitely check out, uh, you know, some of the links that I have in the description. Uh, I think that you will definitely get to learn a lot. Um, I'll definitely have a lot more videos coming. Um, I'll definitely have a video about cryptocurrencies and how to invest your money in that. Um, we also have swag, so uh, you know, check it out. I'll probably uh, I'll, I'll, I'll link I'll link um, the website where you can buy that from um, in the in the later videos. Um, yeah, we're definitely trying to build a brand that around polyocracy right because if if this is going to be a system that replaces governments and everything else um we want we wanted to we want to build a movement around it we at least want the conversation to start uh about you know systems of replacing current government systems right obviously they're not working as well there's revolutions happening from iran you know this the the the, the current atmosphere in america is also like really tense so you know, without rambling too much, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this video to a close. And uh, yeah, as I said, you know, uh, like this video, share it um, with your friends and you know people who are close to you. And uh, let's start a conversation about um, what's next. And so um, you know, peace.